Hey there, now today uh, we're going to be connecting our web page to our database. So the web page we have here is the template we've been working on. This is the one with the included files. And the database, which has also been set up here in PHP MyAdmin, is called Chic Tutorial. It has two tables, category and stock. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use a similar method to the one with where we included the secondary content and the header, we're going to place the database connection string in a separate file and then we're going to include that in our template. So in Notepad I will go ahead and create a brand new page. I'm going to save this as something like, I'll make it a PHP page first. Uh, I'm going to call this one dbconnect. Now, uh, oops. Don't want that. Get there then. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a variable called dbconnect and I'm going to use an inbuilt PHP command called mysqli connect. And this uh, command has four parameters. The first is the, uh, the host, which in this case is going to be localhost. And notice this is a string, so it does need to be in speech marks. Uh, the second parameter is the username. Now, if you're working in your own control panel, you would have hopefully created your own username and password for this database. Uh, I'm using WAMP, so the password, the username is root, and the password, which is the next parameter, is left blank. Uh, if you're using XAMP or MAMP, I'm pretty sure it's root for the username. Um, I'm not sure if the password is also root or if it's left blank. You'll need to just check that one. Uh, so anyway, and then the, th the third parameter is the actual database we're connecting to, which in this case is the one we created last time, Chic Tutorial. Okay, so that, that should um, connect us. So I'm just going to save that. And I'll go to my browser here. I'm just going to test that page. So db connect and it comes up with a blank page now hopefully that means it's connecting successfully but we probably should have a little bit of code just to catch it in case it's not right so uh, back in here just on the next line after that connection string I'm just going to put a little little bit of error catching code that uh, this basically says if we get this happening um, so if there's a, an error correction where are we error no, there we are. So if that is true, what we're going to do is just display an error. So I'll just say something like connection failed. Um, and then I'm just going to concatenate on, again, another inbuilt function, mysqli connect error. Uh, and then we'll just exit. So we're going well. If our connection fails, we'll actually have an error come up instead of just a blank page. So we'll just test that again. Now that is working, and it should be working because these are all the right settings. But if I change the name of the database, for example, and now I test this, so come back here and just refresh that, there's our error. Now this, this is the um, error coming up in WAMP, the big colourful one. More importantly is this little error here, that's what's coming up, um, and it's been generated by that error code. Uh, so you can see it's an unknown database sheet tutorials, which makes sense. If I correct the spelling, and maybe I just change the uh, username to something incorrect, now when I refresh it, there we go, access denied for this user. user. So you can see you get a, a different error, so you can work out what's going wrong. So I'll just uh, return that to root and save it. So now we have uh, a connection string that we know works and it's sitting here in this file called dbconnect. So our final step now is to actually make use of that. So in our template, right at the top of the page here, I'm just going to clear a line for it, and I'm just going to include it just as we've done the other stuff. So dbconnect.php, and that will now grab that code from the dbconnect page and include it right there. And we'll just quickly test that before we go. I put in the original template, and there you are. That page is 
loading correctly, there are no errors, and we know it is successfully communicating with our database. It is ready to pull down some content and display it on the screen. So next time we are going to be doing just that. We'll be pulling down uh, a list of the categories and we'll be placing them in the navigation bar. I'll see you then.